Hello, we have another game against dwarfs. Hooray. Let's have a look at this team. That name looks familiar, but maybe it's not. Uh, usual stuff. Two re-rolls, no leader. It's dwarfs, they don't need a leader. I mean, they don't really need re-rolls. I was kind of wondering if you could get by with one re-roll dwarfs. I know there's the odd moment you need one. Uh, you know, your dub skulls and everything. Hey, Rick, how's it going? You just missed our tiki match. Against camel chops. Ugh. And now we're playing dwarfs. Against dwarfs, I should say. Oh boy. Okay. He, uh, he put in more money than I was expecting there. Uh, I haven't heard about the patches, honestly. But yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not tempted until there's a, a reason to play. I don't think. I suppose they have that ladder of sorts going right now, but I kind of want to hear that it's actually all working pretty smoothly. Take off our spare thrower. I'm okay with this. Uh, Cryo did come in and say that they were giving people some free stuff to try and make them feel better about buying it, by the sounds of it. But that's, that's all I've heard. Hey, yeah, we, we've just dropped back into CCL Dweebeer, how's it going? And I thought, what what better way than to run into dwarfs? I mean, it might not be the end of the world. They've got one, two, two mighty blow, so yeah. We don't have that much dodge anyway. Oh, they got an... I really hate the extra reroll thing. I really do. I mean, obviously it's great when you get it, but I I just hate it. It's, you know, it's 100k it's given to you. I mean, 100k's worth of inducements that it's just sort of handing to somebody. I don't know if that one got nerfed or if it's kind of the same in the new game. I imagine it's the same because it's not, like, it's not perceived as that big a deal. Um... But I am looking forward to the, the kickoff nerfs in Blood Bowl 3. As a general rule. Should we... It's too late for me to be realising this now, but maybe I should be daiquiring this. I mean, I suppose if he doesn't, if he just blitzes one guy and then doesn't, like, contact everybody, it's not that late. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> it's like all the streams that are like, don't buy Blood Bowl 3, and they're all playing Blood Bowl 3. It's like, okay. You tie the roll, nobody gets it. I kind of prefer that. I prefer that. Yeah. Hello. 
as of I mean I have to admit as of right now when I went before it you know before it came out before there was a the whole uh disastrous kind of situation that popped up ah, that's pity um I was kind of in the in the frame of mind of I think I think we just run away here I mean, he's the one with the wizard as well. But yeah, I was kind of in the frame of mind of, well, I want to get this and I want to kind of embrace it and get, you know, do the whole battle pass thing and the, the cosmetics and all that because I'm, I am I'm, I want to stream it. But I, I have to admit that now that it's out and everybody is streaming it anyway, it's like, it's not like, um... I don't know, doesn't doesn't really feel like quite the same level of missing out, so What happens if we all run over to one side? I wonder if he'll adapt his formation, if he'll just go round us, or if he'll come this way. But yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any sort of excitement about streaming it now anyway, right? The main thing would just be getting used to all the new teams and new rules. That's the main thing I'd want to get it now for. If if it gets, if it seems like it's working well, and they've kind of patched out some of the the major like issues of just how it works over the upcoming like few weeks, I might I might get it just to get used to it. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be learning on the fly. But other than that, I mean, CCL is still happening, so why not do that? The Tiki League's still happening. Why not do that? That's kind of my perspective on it. Yeah. I Yeah, I realized, at least for me personally, I was like, oh, well, hang on. I'm not necessarily going to get much value out of streaming it um because like there's so it's that kind of thing of saturation right there's like 50 million people streaming it so uh there's people that don't even normally stream it that are streaming it so i feel like it's not like you're going to really get any extra viewers by streaming it at the moment so kind of mostly just ignoring it i suppose if i had it i'd stream it Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, no, I I understand what you're I understand what you're saying, Cry. If you're gonna play it, you may as well stream it, right? If I had it, I'd be streaming. You know, if I had it and I wanted to play it, I'd be streaming it for sure. I'm not sort of anti. Uh, I'm not sort of purposely not streaming it. If you see what I mean, I'm just, I'm just. Um, I didn't feel like I was going to gain anything. 
I guess channel wise by by doing it. So I was like, hey, you know what? I just I guess I'll just not not worry about it. I will say there's a lot of people who um I don't know if you ever watched it, but Crendor ran a um a Blood Bowl league back back early in Blood Bowl 2, which was actually really fun. With a bunch of streamers that didn't really play. And I think a bunch of them had... I think they some of them kind of dabbled. Some of them didn't play at all. I, I've definitely seen some of them playing. And then there's probably also... Yeah, I assume some... Just people who were curious about it. Or play sort of related type games who are, who are playing it as well. Nice. I don't know if this is worth it or not. It probably is worth it. It's hard to know. He's running a very tight ship here. Team wise. <laughs> but yeah, there's probably not not much point in attacking this because there's you know obviously cage diving pointless because of guard. Um. Does that mean we're playing for draw? I guess it does. Ugh. Uh huh. Yeah, I mostly only stream this and uh, an Age of Empires. I've had a couple of runs at um, Boulder's Gate as well, but the problem is by the time, like I go in such detail on that, that by the time I'm actually getting close to getting through what they've done, they've made another patch and <laughs> invalidated my previous patch, so kind of gave up on that. Yeah, I don't really feel like there's necessarily a better option than this with our team in its current situation. Maybe, maybe that's not true. But like, what are we going to do against a team like this? I suppose we could have elf screened it. Yeah, I probably haven't played in almost a year either. Which is a funny thing to say about a game that, that is uh, not out yet. Thinking of setting up a second channel for photography editing chatting, special guest. Yeah, possibly so. Possibly so. Um, I'm you know what? Maybe we attack this now. Maybe we try and move down and in. I mean it would help if we could knock anybody over, but we cannot.
Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I should have dodged this guy first. Now we can just surf him. I... I forgot that was on my agenda. Uh, let's see. Thought about stopping Blood Bowl streams entirely. Some people in the community this week. I mean, what you've got to remember is that's just some people though, right? <clears throat> and... I mean, and maybe this is the conclusion you came to. And the... Unfortunately, those people are in all walks of life, so... Unless you stop life, you... That's just always going to be a thing. I guess that's kind of my perspective. <laughs> Whether that's a worthwhile perspective or not, I don't know. But, you know, just the kind of thing of, like... Uh, people... People are people. There are people that just... Aren't nice. And there are people that aren't nice at times as well. That's... That's the really weird... That's the really weird thing to come to terms with. Is that there's just... Um, there's just people that feel like it's okay not to be nice. He's just gonna... No, he's gonna two dice so. Okay, we can maybe jump jump in the cage here. Oh, I guess he's just moving the cage over. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'd, I, I mean, I would kind of argue the same thing again, though. It's just people... You know, people do do that in all situations, and it's... Okay. That guy's as safe as he can be. I mean, we could two dice against cage dive this. It is... Not necessarily the most ridiculous concept. It's tackle coming... Like, there's no tackle there. I think we're going to try it, because what else are we going to use that reroll for, eh? Okay, I mean, that's an exciting place for it to go. I wish it had kind of bobbled out over here somewhere for our catcher to come- I mean, our thrower to come get it, but... I'll take this. But yeah. Yeah, and... You know. I think- I think for all the big streamers and whatnot, they... They just, you know... I don't know how many of them... I don't know in this community how many of them are reliant on it as income. Um, I haven't been able to work that out. I'm guessing not many of them, but I wonder if a few of them are. But, um... But I suppose if it's, if it's sort of even supplemental income, then that's sort of their job. So I suppose you can be a bit more, uns you know, I suppose I'm a bit more understanding about that, but at the same time kind of hate it. Um, just, just from the perspective of, uh, you know, it's just kind of condoning the whole thing. He basically does. Okay, I wasn't sure. I kind of wondered if he did. Uh, I... I find that whole thing interesting just because, as well, he seems so absolutely jaded on the game that it's weird, you know? Like, uh, watching watching him cast and everything, he's he's so not interested in it. Uh, and yet, you know, oh, the pairs. The one guy that can't uh, tackle us on the team and he pairs us instead. It's a bit weird, right? Like... I mean, he's definitely at least supplemental in coming it because he sort of talks about needing to do it somewhat. And, like, I get the impression if it wasn't 
providing him some kind of income, he would just probably stop doing it because he seems so unenthused. Uh, but at the same time, there's part of me that's like, if you're so unenthused, make room for somebody who is excited about it to do it, you know? But hey, that's, you know, people people can do what they what they want, right? That's that's the joys of it. I and I don't really know any of their situations, but sometimes you kind of look at what people are doing and you're like, well, that's that's interesting. As one student now, now the curiosity comes in. Who could it be? Uh, sure, I'll sidestep. I don't know who's hitting me, but I think I'd rather be here. Ah, oh, that's pity. A failed pickup here, and we're quids in potentially. There's all sorts of bad places. Well, just three really, three bad places it could go. They're streaming right now. <gasps> Who's streaming right now? I I can't look. I'm. Ah, uh, it's worth a try. There's probably enough people streaming right now that uh, uh they can remain somewhat anonymous. Uh, okay. What could we do here? That guy can't quite get in there. But it's a long way around, isn't it? I know I've only rolled about three blocks, but they have not been the best blocks. Oh, I bet that's who you're talking about. But anyway, yeah, <clears throat> I suppose, I suppose people can do what people, people want to do and that's, that's how it works. Is he going to have to move the ball? Oh, he'll probably just put it on the sideline. I wonder if he'll foul us. Okay, I think he's going to blitz this and then relocate over here, actually. That's probably the safest thing to do. Because I don't think he wants to keep it anywhere here. Because either he runs the risk of us surfing him. Or uh, something else. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm... I get more sad when people are super... Um, Super down on Blood Bowl 2, but stream it like crazy. But, you know, again, I mean, there's, you know, there's nothing to say you shouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm with you there. I think, I think people kind of, you know, there's like some issues with it, right? For sure. But I think people are maybe beginning to realize that eh, they weren't necessarily as bad as they felt like they were. When you compare it to certain other games that have recently come out. 
of a similar nature. That's going to be a three dice against. No, it's going to be two dice against. Uh, let's kill our blitzer, eh? I suppose that's games developers all over though, isn't it, Cryo? I... I feel like that's, that's the industry. They, they, they gotta, they gotta sell you, they gotta hype stuff. Or they feel like they, it, they feel like it's better to hype stuff than... There's like very much perception that it's better to, uh... <clears throat> better to lie than to, uh... Than to admit to problems. Uh, which, you know, if they can get, I guess they can kind of basically, I suppose that's the other thing, is they know they can get away with it. I think ultimately that's the big thing. If you're, especially if you're kind of the sole, um, provider in, in something. Yeah, yeah, it probably will be. I think if you're the sole provider in something, you can kind of do a fairly bad job of it and not really lose out too much because ultimately the people who want to play it don't have anywhere else to go, right? Or, you know, the options are much less popular. I, I kind of feel like that's what happened with D&D &D, uh, recently with the whole, um, the whole thing with the whatever you call it. Um, except in that case, a lot of other people did step forward and say, well, you know what, we're gonna, we're not gonna support this, and other games stepped forward and said, we're gonna, like, step in and fill the void here, and that actually ended up making them back out. But I think they felt like it was a similar situation with this, where they're so, they're so much the only dog in the fight that they could afford to be a bit shady. Um, and I'm not saying that this was a case of them being shady so much as this, this was a case of them trying to do damage control, but kind of same thing. Um, but Blood Bowl kind of has no competition for what it is, right? Okay, I guess we're going to have a not so probably great attempt at the uh, the one turner here. We'll see how it goes. If it was two squares, I'd be feeling a bit more confident. I feel like it's not going to work with uh, where we're at, but we shall see. Yeah. I have to, you know, I was kind of watching a stream briefly the other day, and I did notice, like, that the the cards for players looked really bad, like the graphics of the stuff that was in there. I don't know if any, I don't know if anybody's talked about that, but that was kind of, uh, ooh. Okay, so we'll put you here. Uh, hang on, if we come in here and knock him into here, you need to be here. Our thrower needs to be here. And then miracles need to happen. So let's see, boom. Uh, follow up. Boom, into here. We'll see. I don't feel like this is right, but we'll do it this way. I'm
I mean, in theory that's not good, but we're amazing, so that should be fine. Now, are we better doing that? Or are we better doing that? I think this. Of course, this is where we can't roll a push to save our lives. So here's where it goes wrong, I think. I mean, that's dodgeable into. Oh, but we'd need to fill this one as well. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is of course, why you set up how he set up. Uh, is there anything I can do to alleviate that? I don't think so. So we need to get Sprint. We could do it with Sprint. Uh, so let's not kill our players, if we can. Uh, we'll actually... what we'll do... ...is we'll try and get some SVP. Can't get some SVP. <clears throat> I think I think the other thing with that Dweeb here is I think if they wanted to implement this blood pass system, they probably could have even done that with Blood Bowl 2, right? They could have just uh totally didn't pay attention. That's good. That's good, because it we got it one square away. Uh, but then we would have needed to dodge around the back, and it was the dodges were too hard with no reroll left. Our three dice, of course, didn't manage to roll a push, so I just I just aborted because I didn't want to kill somebody. Yeah, I mean they still could have done the blood pass thing and had seasons, right? They could have said, "Look, we're changing the game. This is how it's going to work." Um, that way they could still keep making money, because obviously they're looking to make money more off that than people actually buying it, because they dropped the price of the game to, like, the regular price is $30, so they're kind of anticipating that money is ongoing. Uh, they could have updated all the star play, you know, they could have given it some shine, right? They even could have brought in cosmetics, like, just keep the engine the same, bring in, cos bring in the other stuff that you've got, It just feel that feel you know have cosmetics be part of the blood pass. So if you want to take part in the official season, you do the blood pass. You get cosmetics as you play. I mean, you know, for better or worse, they could have totally done that. And still made loads of money off it. Yeah. Exactly. You know, fix fix the little things that are wrong with it. I don't think anybody has a problem with that. I feel like we really want our Blitzer to level up.
Yeah, the, <laughs> the funny thing with that, right, is they could have just, like, um, put out a survey <laughs> and, and found this stuff out. If they had just done a little, like, oh, I forgot about this guy. If they had just done a little community, um, maybe it's good. Maybe him being up there is fine, honestly. Unless he gets knocked off the field, in which case, not so much. But yeah, if they just kind of read the community. They could have worked all this out. But uh, that's not that's not necessarily always in the nature of companies, I suppose. I mean, it's not just that stuff, right? Rick, it's the, um, it's just the fact that it works so poorly as well. Yeah, they ha they have. And I know, here's the thing, I know the streamers aren't like, you know, and the big streamers aren't like 100% the pulse of the community. But like, they are quite often, they do quite often have the pulse of the community, so they could have interacted more with them to sort of work out what people wanted, you know, and not even would they have had to talk to them, they could have just watched, they could have just watched and seen, but you know, to save time they could have, they could have talked to like a variety of people in the community that are kind of big within the community, and essentially found all this out. It, it's always weird to me that companies feel like they kind of, maybe they know better. Catch that one, thank you. <laughs> if we're going to lose this match, we're at least going to level up five people. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually find in these things that there are people out there willing to do it. Uh, you know, like, an Aryan is obviously not the only one that could have done it. There's, they could have reached out to a whole host of people who are big in the, in the community. And essentially worked all of this out. It's just sort of, I guess, kind of lazy to, to not do it. Yeah. And, and it's like, I think the thing with that is they could have talked to them. They could have had them involved. I'm, 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 I'm sure that at least some of them would have happily given, um, like, essentially free feedback, right? And then they would have, you know, the things they do with that as well is they help build one two three four they help build excitement in the community if they do that as well right so like and what, what i mean by that is they help uh build a good relationship with people who are big who then maybe are more excited to uh to say nice things about them when when the stuff actually finally comes time to drop it's just like so many good reasons to do all of this it's just baffling that they don't
They talked to Rebel Game. Yeah. I mean, if they talked to them, they didn't do a good job of it, right? I don't know the Rebel community, but... Um, you know, things haven't turned out. Oh, that's nice. We get a second bite of the cherry. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna knock this off the back of the field at this rate. Okay, so we do need to try and start to move here. How do we do this now is the question. I assume we try and, like pincer up into like this whole situation or something so let's start to do that i would really like it if we were holding the ball at the time but we're not oh i should have gone through here this was silly the reason i say that is because this guy doesn't have tackle like 100 percent, you go through there We're just going to kind of have to try and force our hand into this, so to speak. I can't believe I didn't go this way. Uh, are you one of the ones I'd want to force through? No, I think I'm going to try and force a catcher through. Okay, you can go, so we'll do this. This would be so much better past this guy, I'm super annoyed. We'd have got... I mean, we wouldn't necessarily have got through. We would have got through. Oh, that's right, there's a wizard as well. I'm just pretending the wizard doesn't exist. I think that's the best thing to do. We're experimenting here. Because this, this player has obviously played a lot better against it than our last opponent did. Um, but I think I think this turn was probably the right turn to go forwards. Maybe last, maybe last turn. Yeah, I totally did. What I'm most annoyed about, though, is not going this way. It's so... it's so painfully obvious. I mean, I could have even got... I could have even... Maybe I should have hit this guy and then skimmed through here. Yeah, that, that would have worked, too. I 
I mean, you know, maybe we make some one dices that work. And we get we get away with it, we'll see. But the wall's looking pretty secure here. Getting one dices is going to be tricky. Okay. There's possibilities now that he didn't do this. Just gonna both down that one. Interesting. Oh, he's still got a blitz. I guess he's gonna blitz with one of them, then run over to the other one and hit him. We go this way to try and drag him in. Didn't drag him in, so that frees us up, so that works as well. Oh, you gotta hate dwarfs, right? I mean, that, for another team that might be a worrying blitz, but for dwarfs it's just another day. Okay, so we could potentially force a hole through here with a one dice. Uh, we just need a, what, like a three plus here. We do it this way because more of our players are over this way. I said we need a 3+. plus. Oh, why do we even try? <laughs> well, this was always going to be tricky, eh? It's not good when you're playing against a team that feels like they're already kind of ahead of you. Um, and yet they're enough team value down, enough to get a wizard, right? <laughs> so obviously uh, the plan was there. Go down. One dice him off. We could run like three or four guys up to here. And then we honestly stand an okayish chance of making something happen. Just needed that one three plus to work. Well, it's not been a great day to be an elf.
Yeah, now he's like, I should got this guy. Oh boy, he's actually one of our few potentials to score. I mean, you can see why people play dwarfs, right? <laughs> they're horrible to play against, but they're quite satisfying to play with. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet, though. Because he has the wizard, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's too far. Uh, okay, so we're definitely not out of the woods in the sense that we don't have a secondary player who can get in the position to do anything here. Uh, that's unfortunate. So it was... Just we're just gonna have to rely on the wizard not working. <laughs> oh, we've had a great turn, but it's not it's not sadly gonna matter. We just need a one. No reroll here. Uh. <sighs> well, he did. You know what? He overpaid for that. So, in the sense that, um,. He used all, he used 60k of his own money, so if he hadn't, arguably we would have tied this or been in a good position to tie it, right? He could have, he could have tried to blitz us. Apparently someone's found complete files for both three for lizards and launch maybe first DLC. Maybe. <laughs> three pushes, three pairs. Yeah, I, I mean, in fairness, I'm not... I suppose until I have Blood Bowl 3, I, I'm less excited about what, what the potentials are. Uh, I, but I suppose at some point I'll get excited about it.
Yeah, I'm I'm honestly just gonna I'm just gonna see what uh how things progress, I think. As as much as I'm happy with like I think Blood Bowl 2 is a good game, I I am ready for the new rules. Big time. I'm not saying that the new rules are in any way perfect, but I'm ready for the change because, um, you know, every there's a lot of stuff that feels pretty inevitable in this game. Uh, this is a, a so this game has been sort of an example of it. I mean, we uh, in fairness, if it had gone differently, we could have maybe we could have won. Maybe I was too. Maybe I got too hung up on what I was doing as well when we could have just played more aggressive. That's probably what I should be doing. I mean, obviously that didn't work with the Dark Elves. That was a complete disaster, but you know what I mean. I haven't, no. Um, I've seen Cryo play it a little bit, but yeah, I haven't, haven't messed with it. Yeah. I think, I was going to say that, do you, Bear? I, I feel like I've kind of, um... I've hit a stage with gaming where I'm not, and it sounds uh, sort of snobbish, I suppose, but I feel like I've hit a point where I don't want to... I, I like my graphics and stuff, I like, I like my gameplay. I've got, I've got a little bit snobby with games. If I'm going to play a game, I want it to be what I want it to be. Alrighty. Yeah, I know there's a lot of advantages. It's it's free. It's everything is, you know, like uh how it's supposed to be and whatnot, but um Well that was that was oh just painful. Painful, painful. But yeah, I um You know. I can't I, I've I've not been able to get excited about it is what I, I suppose what I mean. I imagine before Blood Bowl one and two came along it was the main uh, thing, but uh but yeah. Oh I should finish off the video. Thanks for watching guys on YouTube. Sorry that was uh that was a painfully, painfully, um, <laughs> an exciting match. I'll try and do better next time. Uh, I guess we just take dodge and everybody. Because, you know, what are the chances we keep running into dwarfs? We were 3 0, zero and now we face dwarfs and we're 3-1-1. One, one. <clears throat> I don't want to say that there is a correlation there, but... I also do want to kind of say there's a bit of a correlation there. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.